So hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Zoom Chala today. This is the this is our best attempt at creating some Coachella concert version over Zoom and making that fun with our local artists and student recordings. So our very first performance is by one of my very good friends from another community college. Um, her name is Princess Badwa. She is a student at Santa Monica Community College. She is a fantastic student and very talented. She is a great singer. She uh, also has a journaling and study inspiration Instagram account. It's called Bu Bujo by Princess or Buho. I don't know how you really pronounce that. Um, so you can definitely check her out on Instagram. Um, and without further ado, we are going to listen to the cover of Week by SWV um, from Princess. you've done to me but it's caused me to act in such a crazy way whatever it is that you do when you do what you're doing it's a feeling that I want to say cause my heart starts beating true performance major here at Fullerton College and a fun fact about her is that all she although she studies classically she's been learning how to DJ she also plans to produce mixes that tie a lot of 70s and 80s styles with modern hip-hop music Asia is a vocal uh, performance major and during COVID she's been living on a ranch rehabilitating horses I'm very jealous of her I'm excited to introduce their opera piece, Via Rusty Servita. Hi, my name is Asia Myra. And I'm Chloe Jane Reyes. And in this scene from The Marriage of Figaro, I play Susanna. It is the morning of my wedding day, and tonight I will be the one marrying my beloved Figaro. <gasps> Not so fast. I am Marcellina, and I am rich, and Figaro owes me a lot of money. According to the terms in our contract, if Figaro can't pay, then he'll have to marry me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Please, you're old enough to be his mother. How dare oh, you, you little wimp yes, of a girl? Yes, I, I mean, said it. Have you looked have at yourself in the mirror recently? I, I think you should. I come on, Marjolina, seriously. What are you I mean, thinking? You truly on, believe that he's going to leave me for you? you Look at me. I'm young. I'm beautiful. And I'm sure all of Spain loves you because you make it so, so easy for all the men to want you. Are going to be introducing Aaron. Aaron's going to be performing a piece of actually two separate pieces of poetry, um, which are both super amazing. Um, I know Aaron from French. We do French together. Uh, I got the pleasure of Aaron coming to. She joined one of my tutoring classes um, last semester. Aaron joined one of my tutoring classes last semester, which was super amazing. And now Aaron is part of Associated Students. So. We are super, super excited to have Aaron's input on so many amazing things. Aaron has been a wonderful, wonderful person to have in Associated Students, and she's the Aaron is the vice president of French Club and a bunch of other different programs on campus, which is super amazing. So if you could give a round of applause for our next performer, Aaron. Yay! Peace. Peace means that I've loosened the tether of judgment that was suffocating my thoughts with their negativity and incessant feeling of not being adequate enough. Just finding the freedom of sheer joy and living fully present, exposed, and vulnerable. But having the power over oneself to appreciate the intoxication of life's madness and beauty all summed up in the moment. It's a dance that is between fluidity and stillness in a quiet, serene space within a serendipitous contradiction of space, but filled with blind faith and love that brings forth an eternal feeling of what it is to be truly in the moment, which causes an unexpected quiver that brings a smile, which no one will understand. Even when peace is surrounded by external chaos, it is impenetrable. Love, what is love? Love is a being, a feeling, a memory. It's just part of the story. She will hurt you, but not in malice. It's in her absence, a need of belonging, you begin the search. The longing will lead you to days or years of wondering where did it all go wrong, only to feel it in a song. A teacher with the greatest lesson, 
Even when school is not in session, she will remind you that it's not out there. But where, you ask? She will take you to task, to search through the hurt, to find it in your worth. So learn to sit in silence and feel peace. Inhale and exhale with ease. Only then you will discover what truth will uncover. It was you. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have met our next performer. She's a brilliant student who loves all things French and loves to help people. And on a personal note, she's inspired me to continue learning French and influenced me to be more involved with associated students. Elle est tout simplement le meilleur. Translation, she's simply the best. Give a warm round of Zoom applause for our next performer, Kennedy DeVries. Hello, um, my name is Kennedy. I am a French major at Fullerton College. Um, yes, I am in a car. It was very loud in my house currently, so yes, the car it is. Um, and I am going to be singing a French song today just to join in and all this Zoom cello thing, all this Zoom cello fun stuff. Um, obviously French, French major. Um, so the song is called Si Je Mais J'oublie. It's by Zaz. Um, love this song. It's my favorite, one of my favorite French songs. Uh, so thought I'd sing it today. Okay, so here we go. Rappelez-moi le jour et l'année Rappelez-moi le temps qu'il faisait Et si j'ai oublié Tu peux me secouer Et s'il me prend l'envie en m'aller On ferme moi et jette la clé Au piqueur de rappel Dis comment je m'appelle Si jamais j'oublie Les nuits que j'ai passées rue Guitare et les cris Repare-moi qui je suis Pourquoi je suis en vie Si jamais j'oublie les jambes à mon cou, si un jour je fuis, repère-moi qui je suis, ce que je me t'ai promis. Repère-moi mes rêves les plus fous, repère-moi ces larmes sur mes joues. Si j'ai oublié Combien jamais chanté Si jamais j'oublie Les nuits que j'ai passées Rue, guitare et les cris Repère-moi qui je suis Pourquoi je suis en vie Si jamais J'oublie les jambes à mon cul si un jour je fuis. Repare-moi qui je suis, ce que je m'étais promis. Oh 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 Je suis si jamais j'oublie les jambes à mon cul si un jour je fuis. Repare-moi qui je suis, ce que je me t'ai promis. Si jamais j'oublie les nuits que j'ai passées rue, guitare et les cris. Repare-moi qui je suis, pourquoi je suis en vie. Repelle-moi les jours et l'année. Okay, um, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the best of Zoomchella and you're having a good time so far. Au revoir! Next up, we have from our wonderful opera studies program, we have a performance by Michelle Lockington and Minerva Padilla Nguyen. They will be performing an opera piece called Un Martin from the grand opera Le Profete by Giacomo Meyerbeer. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing their performance. <laughs> Hello, my name is Minerva Padilla Nguyen. And I'm Michelle Lockington. And our final scene tonight is from Meyer Beer's grand opera, The Prophet. I portray the role of Fides. And I the role of Bertha. In this opera, set during the time of the Anabaptist Revolution in Munster, Germany, political, religious, and personal agendas collide to create an intense, gripping drama. Bertha is a poor young maiden in love with Jean. However, the feudal lord, the Count of Obertal, wants to keep her for himself, so he has her imprisoned. She eventually escapes and is now searching for Jean in the streets of Munster. She runs into Fides, Jean's mother, who tells her that her son had been assassinated by the prophet of the Anabaptists. Devastated, Belto resolves to avenge Jean's death by killing the prophet with her own hands.
Hello, I'm Jared Wiston. And I am Robin Tyree. Tonight, we would like to present to you Sento Uncerto from the Coronation of Popea by Monteverdi. I play the role of Valetto, a servant in Emperor Nero's court. I play the role of Damigella, a lady-in-waiting in Empress Ottavia's court. In this scene, I enter the royal garden, hoping to see Valetto there. I arrive, and upon seeing Damigella, I am overcome with such strong emotions that I struggle to understand what they are. I explain to him that Cupid is toying with him. What he is feeling is love. Certo non so che che mi pizzi cari letta dimmi tu che cosa gli è dammi già l'amore cosa ta ti pare ti direi ti direi ti fare ma non so quel che io vorrei ma non so quel che io vorrei. Se sto tecco il cor mi va a, 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 a te, se tu porti o sto nel lenzo, a tuo sen divino latte, se respiro e sempre penso, ti pare, ti direi, ti direi, ti fare, ma non so quel che io vorrei, ma non so quel che io vorrei. Oh, 
play song a Latin American song. Thank you so much. I have time for another song. Yeah, if you would like to, we would love that. I want to play a... Uh... Super Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, another song from Brazil. It was amazing.
Tico Tico from Brazil. Wow, that was amazing. Another song from Mexico. Uh, Wonderful. That was that was amazing, um, Vladimir. That thank you so much for coming to perform for us today. That was definitely incredible. Um, I want to play a, a little a little uh, part from this song. Uh, okay. Thank you for having me today. Thank you so much, Mr. Mendoza, um, for playing for us today. So many different songs. We really appreciate it. Performance by Isabella Alcarez. She is going to be singing Sweet Night uh, by Kim Taehyung, who is a BTS member. She's going to be covering that song. Uh, Isabella Alcarez is an English literature major at Hope International University. She has spent quite a few years doing theater and has had a successful career in speech and debate in high school. That's also where I met her. Um, so I am so glad to introduce one of my best friends from high school singing this fantastic song for us today as our last performer. On my pillow can get me tired sharing my fragile truth that I still hold the door is open cause the window opened one time with you and me now my forever's fallen down 
just in my head. My heart is pounding tonight. I wonder if you are too good to be true. thank everyone for coming to today's series of performances. It was wonderful to see all of the amazing things that our Fullerton College students can do. Um, there's a couple of really brief things I want to share with you before we end for today. So first, um, we'll be loading, putting the video of this on the AS YouTube channel. And so I'm sharing the link for that channel in the chat. If you could join, subscribe, uh, like the video. I think it's a, it's a good way of sharing it with students who couldn't maybe attend today's meeting because I know a lot of people have class on Fridays. So I put that in the chat. And then the very second thing is that um, we do have upcoming performances next week. So next Friday, we will be having a video game night and I shared the flyer for that in the chat. And next Thursday, in coordination with the Thoughtful Thursday program, we will be having an art class with Professor Demetriitis. And so both of the flyers and Zoom information are, on, um, are, are currently in the chat. In addition, these flyers will be added to the AS Instagram. So always recommend following us there as well. It's a great way to get updated about new events. Um, thank you, Arush, for sharing that. And that kind of concludes what I wanted to share with you. Oh, of course, yes, Dr. Schultz. Thank you. Good afternoon. I just wanted to um, share a couple of things if I could while we're still together. First of all, um, thank you to our AS leaders for hosting this event. Um, as many of us have learned, it's so hard being away from campus and um, especially each of you balancing the stress of your studies, um, work responsibilities, home life, and not being able to connect socially. So I, this is such a nice opportunity. I wish I could have enjoyed the whole session with you, but I was coming from another meeting. But um, thank you for taking initiative and leadership and bringing the, uh, the family together, you know, all the students and, and faculty and staff. And if you think there's time, do you mind if I share just a tidbit um, in the form of an image of Coachella history with you? Absolutely. Be okay. Do you know if I have share screen capability? I do not believe that you do, but I can make that happen. Give me a second. Okay. As you work your magic and thank you, Madison. So um, you, many of you may know this, but if you didn't, the first Coachella uh, took place in the fall of 2015. And it was an idea born from students just like yourself, students leaders. There had never been a Coachella before. So um, this takes us back to the fall of 2015. You may recognize a couple of familiar faces in these photos from the first Coachella. So I'll attempt to share the screen. Okay, any familiar faces there? <laughs> we have uh, our fearless leader and uh, faculty advisor, Dr. Carithers there with uh, what was our trustee, Molly McClanahan. She recently um, transitioned to retirement. She's staying busy, but just not our trustee anymore. And then this was uh, to the right there, our interim chancellor, Fred Williams, uh, myself and my first fall at Fullerton College at Coachella and Francisco, who was our student trustee. 
So just a little fun. I thought I'd share a little Quadcella history with you. And um, again, it's amazing to have uh, Zoom Cella today. Thank you for your leadership and for making that happen. And I'm looking ahead to the next time where we can have uh, Quadcella back on the actual quad as well someday. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that. I think the history of Coachella is definitely interesting. I love that student leaders started it. I think there's a lot of opportunities to be involved at our school. So for those of you who are here, if you're interested in being a student leader, um, our AS elections are coming up. They're going to be um, in the next couple of weeks. So if you're interested in running for a position, it's a great way to be involved at our school to help get things passed that you're interested in to really advocate for the changes you'd like to see. So I highly recommend if you have the time, um, and are going to be here next semester to run for associated students. And you can even help plan events like this. So um, my job is to be a VP of activities. So I plan events and you could definitely help or even run for this position for next year. Um, okay, so that kind of concludes our event for today. Thank you so much to everyone for coming. It was wonderful to see all these lovely faces. I loved all of the ears and fun hat accessories that everyone joined in on. Um, I hope to see all of you at future events, and I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you.